Yes, welcome to the show with Chain Reaction Cycles, of course. Neil, how are you? Well, I'm great. We've got loads of cool mountain bike news this week. Plus, we've got an addition to the GMBN team. Exciting news. Have we? Let's get into this week's news and then quickly on to our topic. And the first bit of news is this new video from Danny Mac. Well, Have you seen this? Always good to see him ride a bike, especially in a onesie. <laughs> yeah, he's basically riding in a onesie, getting as wet and as muddy as I can. You're desperate for one of these. It's a great idea. Um, I can't remember the name of the German brand that did these before, but they were like yeah. short legs and a yeah, hooded yeah. top that was weird. Yeah. However, this I think looks like genius. Yeah, it what does a brilliant look. thing to wear in the winter. You're it never going to get wet. does look really cool. And he looks like he is having the best time. Sliding around and slipping <laughs> slides in the mud with Stu Thompson of yes. uh, Cut Media fame. He's a great rider himself. Yeah, and ba great rider. And if you've ever liked a Danny Mac video, chances are Stu made it. That's the man who made it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very talented guy. Um, Yeah, great bit of riding by Danny. Good to see him back in the winter. Well, getting into the swing of winter as well, Exposure have announced some new lights. So we've got the Six Pack Sync. So it's their brand new top of the range light. 4,750 lumens, so megabyte. Yeah. The sync also means that it's Bluetooth enabled, so it'll talk to an app on your phone, so wow. you can give it custom burn times, things like that. That is amazing, that's amazing. I've actually ever been on one night ride, actually. Yeah, I love it. Um, cool. They're good Do fun. It. Have you done that a lot? Uh, occasionally, yeah. Right. I used to be fortunate enough to be a pro, Martin, so I could ride whenever I wanted. Yeah. yeah. Now I don't, so now I go for night rides. <laughs> they're very uh, nice. They've also got some e-bike lights that will plug into your battery if you're an e-bike rider. Oh, that's neat. I like yeah. the idea of that. Um, also this week, have you seen the new Cannondale Habit? Yeah. Total relook, this one. It's a short travel 29er. Yeah, 130 mil travel. Um, let me give you some of the stats here. It's got boost front and rear. It's yeah. a carbon and aluminium version. Yeah. Um, Extra small to extra large sizes. It's the first bike they've brought out with a horse link suspension system. Um, it's very, very cool. So we've seen very this bike cool. actually sneaked a little bit on Max from 50 to 1. I can't remember his actual surname, but his name it is, is Freedom. His name is Max Naruka. Freedom um, yeah. is his handle on Instagram. Brilliant rider. He's Brilliant rider. And look at this video of him riding some of that stuff from Whistler on the launch video yeah. of the habit. Look at this. Great vid that. Cool. Love that bike, Cannondale. Super nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, have you seen this penny farthing, Neil, from Zebra Bikes. I've never fancied a penny farthing before, mine, but this is cool. It is awesome. It's full, well, rear suspension, yeah. front and disc brakes. Well, um, you would want to grab that front brake, surely. I mean, the spec list is unbelievable on it. It's got bespoke fat, rentful fat bars on it. It looks expensive. I mean, well, I tell you, Neil. How much is that front carbon wheel? I don't know. It's a 50 inch front wheel, that. It's Ooh. the first 50 inch wheel <laughs> mountain bike. And uh, its creator, Galon Boo, he said that, you know, he saw that now the regulation for different wheel sizes has come in. He thought he'd get right on it. Oh. I mean, he's ahead of the game and he's really gone crazy. But the only disappointing thing is about this, Neil. Yeah, go on. It isn't real. Ruin it. It's a drawing. A drawing? It's a drawing. <laughs> yes, Galon Boo is not, well, he is a rider, but he hasn't actually built this bike. So, but done that on a computer now. He's drawn it. Why? It's a, he's a CGI it real, artist, it and it isn't that amazing? I was looking for the price on it. Oh, and I tell you what, right? I'm going to admit, I was totally sold on this hook, line, and stick. I was emailing Doddy, Doddy, I found some incredible <laughs> tech for you. Oh my god, I was a hero. No. And then he was like, Martin, that isn't a real You've bike. You've been fooled. I totally fell for it, but I love it. Um, and and Gulum, I, I think, I hope I'm saying that right, Gulum. Mm. Um, he is, uh, he's obviously into his bikes. He knows what's going on in mountain biking. Crazy so congrats, dude. that nice. is very, very cool. Now for the new team member news. Uh, oh, I've just got it. You've got it. Oh, I've got it. Big yeah. news here, Martin. What yes. is it? Bing Bong's a dad. He is. <laughs> yeah, Blake Samson, GMBM presenter and all round nut job, is a father of one young Charlie Sampson. Unbelievable. Amazing, yeah. Last week it all kicked off. Jen went into labour. Um, an hour and a half later, yeah. it was a quick turnaround in a car. Yeah. Um, th they had a little baby boy, Charlie. Yeah. Congrats. Welcome welcome to the team, Charlie. Yeah. Congrats, Blake and Jen. I cannot wait to go riding with Charlie. Yeah. That is going to be awesome. Right, now, we're going to get on to our topic um, this week, after all that good news. Mm. Um, and uh, this week, Neil, our topic is 
How long do you have to ride to get really good? And this comes from watching you <laughs> struggle. Uh, go back to your pro routes yeah. and ride in the, in the final round of the Enduro World Series at yeah. Finale Laguerre. Um, Ligure. 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 Um, I'm trying to get famous for my bad pronunciations. Yeah, well. Can you stop correcting me? <laughs> um, and uh, and you did great. I didn't do great. That's well, the... <laughs> I, I mean, that's for you because that's your perspective of someone who wants to win all the time. But I thought this was a brilliant video and I thought your effort to just take on that course at that level, which is the top level, yeah. was amazing and it was so compelling. But Obviously, it wasn't that easy. Well, it was a roller coaster ride, to be honest, because yes. after doing the first stage, obviously, yeah. I used to be quite good at it. And mm -hmm. like the last race I did, I was like 20th, yes. something, yeah. Yeah. at EWS. So that was a few years ago now. Yes. I definitely don't ride as much as I used to. So mm -hmm. I was expecting to be okay. Yes. But I kind of, you know, in the back of my mind, I think I'm still really good and I'm not. <laughs> so I don't ride enough anymore. You've got to ride all the time yeah. Yeah. to be really good. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? Is how much do these pros ride? I mean, there is a really famous rule, the 10,000 hour rule. Um, yeah. Have you heard of that before? Now that comes from uh, a really famous book. The name has escaped me. Let me just grab that a second. It's Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers. Now I've never read it, um, and I'm a bit of a booky nerd. Mm -hmm. um, and apparently it says that if you need to do 10,000 hours of uh, dedicated practice yeah. to get good at something, Right, and apparently that's the rule. That's how long it takes. I've, but, I've heard it being poo-poo before. Yes, that there is a big but because yeah. in sport, there's such a, a big part of being good at a sport is your genetic makeup. Right. Um, so obviously Usain Bolt was always pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't. He was. You know, he's gifted in certain ways, and, and we all are in certain ways, and that's how we excel at sports. Yeah. Um, so the ten thousand hour rule doesn't really hold up. So I think it's more about how do you personally get good? How do you use your time to improve your riding? And yeah. Neil, I've come up with a bit of a recipe. <laughs> okay. So this is my recipe for success. Um, this is based on all of our training in GMBN and how we got good on our bikes. Um, and it's simply summed up with practice makes perfect. But we all know that. But what does it look like? And what is practice made perfect? What does that actually mean? Well, it means one thing. Progress. Progression. Okay, and that's got two elements. The doing and then the reviewing, all right? So what is the doing of progress? Well. It looks a bit like uh, fun and failure. That's the doing of it. And you've got to balance those two things to make it all work. Now, how do you, pro how do you balance fun and failure? Well, there's a graph that you can look at. It's really famous, actually. And it's from a book I read by a guy called Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, which is actually a book called Flow. Uh, and this graph is something really good to think about. Okay, so if you draw a graph like this, uh, and you make this your skill and your confidence. Uh, and this is your uh, challenge. And then you've got to stay basically to progress within these lines. Down here is boredom. It's got to be above that to say it starts, stay exciting. And up here is anxiety. How do you spell that? Anxiety. Uh, okay, and that's where you don't want to get. You don't want to keep banging your head on this line. So you've got to stay in here. Your riding has got to plot a path through here. It's like, oh, I got good and I banged my head and I kept going and it's got to do this. It's got to stay within these two lines to progress. Okay, that's the doing. Now, what does that mean? You've got to progress, but once you finish your riding, there's an important element that helps you move along. You've got to think about the review of the riding, what you think about the riding after you've done it. Once you've done it, you've got to think about it and that drives you on to keep yourself in that pattern on that graph to ride more. And then you need variety. So you've got to do that riding in different places. And if you keep riding, staying within that graph, reviewing it and keeping the variety interesting, Neil, you'll be a pro. See, so you know, it's that easy.
it's that easy. I love it when you get all deep and hippie on us, Martin. But it's <laughs> good stuff. I definitely agree with that, actually. Mm. I think what I've done is I've dropped down the level of challenging myself so I don't progress anymore. Yeah. I think half of that is because I've beaten myself up too many times and I'm getting too old and I'm thinking, oh, I've had enough of this. I, I just think, level it down a bit. I think you're being hard on yourself. But yeah, once that confidence goes, it's hard. It's hard to keep the old path going. Yeah. Um, but let's hear about your riding. Are you pushing yourself? How much time are you putting into your riding each week? Uh, or if we miss the point, mm -hmm. is it not about getting good and success? Is it just about having a great time on your bike, seeing the world? Let us know in the comment section down below. Get involved. Right, Martin, fact of the week. Who yes. do you think were the first ever mountain bikers? Oh, it's easy. It's uh, Gary Fisher and that lot. That Marin County. Nope. Marin County. Way older than that, Martin. 70s and 80s. Back to 1896, the Buffalo Soldiers Unit. What, Dreadlock Rastas? Yeah, no, not them ones. Uh, military in the US tried to ride from Missouri to Montana. What? Or the other way around. On mountain, well, on bikes. They weren't mountain bikes, of course, back then. And that is incredible. It failed miserably. It was a military exercise, see if they could use them. It's quite sad, actually. Wait, so mountain biking's been around for over a hundred years? Pretty much so. 130 years, nearly? Yeah, as soon as bikes are there, people ride them off-road. Oh my god, that is incredible. Good fact, Neil. Now it's time to have a little bit of fun. Let's interrupt Doddy while he films his tech show. I love doing this. Um, now, we had that great bike drawn by Gwilum. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that really cool penny farthing. Let's see if Doddy's got any... Uh, bikes from the history of mountain biking that's a surprise us, some weird concepts. Hi Martin, yeah actually I've been waiting for you this week, you haven't inconvenienced me at all because like you, I've been looking at that weird concept bike, except I clearly realised it was a concept bike to start with, I don't think you did. Um, who on earth would make a 50 inch Envy wheel and a, what was it, a Thunderbird tyre or a Racing Ralph, I forget, but either way it's pretty insane, but there's loads of cool concept bikes that have happened over the years. And actually, one of the biggest mountain bike brands of them all is really famous for it, and that's Cannondale, of course. Now, Cannondale have done so many weird and wild bikes, we can't even go into all the detail, but here's just a few of them. So this awful thing on display now can only be called the roller skate bike. This is the R4000. It was a time trial prototype, and I have no idea what they were thinking when they decided to put little tiny shopping trolley wheels on the front there. Uh, it must have sounded awful and it kind of looks kooky, but in a weird way. I really like it, actually. Uh, there's something about it, it's so bad that it's cool. And uh, I think it's the only one as well. And it's insane, the other th other projects they've made. So look at this bike, this is the, the V4000. It's the only one on Earth. It is fully CNC machined, it's got rotational suspension on it, so use some sort of torsional spring technology. Don't even really know, but it's insane. Um, would love to actually see it in the flesh and have a play with it. I know a few people have been lucky enough to go and play with that one at Cannondale, but they've also done some other obscure stuff. So just completely out of the blue, they start making motocross bikes and quads. Now, um, it's a pretty unusual thing to just go into, design suspension, design uh, the frame, the chassis, even the engines, they designed everything. They kind of, I think they're really bizarre, they're like dry sumps and all sorts of stuff. Um, on screen now is a shot of the quad. Um, I'd never even seen one of these, and I went to a bike event last year, and this turned up, it's almost immaculate. So much so that the people from Canada are there, I think they were nearly going to buy it because it's so rare, but um, they are, you know, they, they weren't without their problems, put it that way. And this bike on screen now is the Fulcrum. So this was one of their downhill bikes, and it was one of the very first downhill bikes to have twin short linkages on it. Massively overcomplicated, loads of chain rings, loads of uh, sections of chains and stuff, but at the same time, really, really quite cool. And, there's a lot of other cool concepts in this bike as well. It had adjustable head angle on there. It was just like, from the future really, the stuff that Cannondale were doing. But uh, I love the fact that they're quite famous as a concept manufacturer. They, they're still developing all this odd stuff behind the scenes to see if it's worth investigating in the future. And you know, really like the lefty, that kind of came from all that concept work and the mad scientists behind the scene pretty much butchering forks to see if they can make something work. But there you go, Martin. So um, back to you, hopefully you enjoyed this weird conceptual sort of thing. I'm pretty sure there's some other odd bikes out there. How about you guys? Let us know in the comments below, actually, if you've seen a weird concept bike and you want to know about it, we'll pick it up on next week's show. Now, talking about testing yourself, Neil, mm -hmm. and pushing your level, a uh, little bird told me that you uh, got a little bit of the competitive streak coming when you saw the EMBN yeah. slab video. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show them. Let's have a look at this. Hi guys, I'm here on the slab, the famous slab from the EMBN video, and Martin's actually ridden down this in the past on a road bike. To have a go 
on my normal mountain bike, as I stand here, I'm not sure it's doable. It looks gnarly and riding back down on a cross country bike is going to be horrendous, but I think this is the bike to try and get up it. So here goes nothing. Let's try and uh, put Steve and Chris to shame. So uh, the bottom of the slope is actually still in the shade and it's wet and it is the slippiest thing ever. So I'm not going to be able to get a run in. So I'm going to have to start from above it, ride across it and then commit to turning into it, which is crazily scary. And I think I'm going to use the same technique as the boys did and stand up and just crank it. Now, oh, nice, quite scary actually. <laughs> oh man, it's way gnarlier than I thought. I just thought it'd either be doable or it wouldn't be doable, and that's that. I didn't think about it sliding back down it. Ah! So like I was scared to commit to going straight up it. It's scary. I don't want to slide back down it on my ass and my elbows. I don't want to clip a pedal going across it. Oh, wheel spinning. I'm doing it. Oh. Oh my God. It's like wheeling and wheel spinning. Imagine if you change that. Right, it's actually really grippy on this rock. As grippy as it's going to get, to be honest. So that's got to be the steepest thing I've ever climbed up on a mountain bike. Fails and bales. You ready, Martin? Oh, I am. Right, first one comes from Brian in Ballyhura Trail Centre. He manages to have three crashes in one. <laughs> I mean, we've all done it. So here's number one crash. Bang. Whoa. Two. Whoa. Bang. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. He smacked his head. <clears throat> have hope. you ever hit the back of your head on a tree? That's a new one. That is a new one. Well done, Brian. That was a good crash. <laughs> right. Roll VT. Okay, time for hacks and budgies, hacks and budgies, hacks and budgies. Good, I like it, yeah. It's all yeah. hacks this week though, I think, Martin, so just Yeah, hacks. I've got a few budgies for you, oh, and of right. course, this is a competition, Neil. It this is. This is serious because Chain Reaction Cycles are putting a £100 voucher up for grabs for the best one this week. That's why I don't sing, it's so serious, Martin. It is serious, you're serious right. Serious money. Isn't? Right, so we've got some good players in the game. First up, we've got Tommy, who has got his Crank Brothers pedal stamps. Yep. Yeah, look normal, don't they? I know them well. But they're not. Look closely, and he's winterized them. He's created little rubber seals using zip ties and inner tube cut, mm. sealing the seals effectively and making them basically weatherproof. Nice little hack. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Or, In the running. Or are you going to say bodge? I think it's actually a pretty good hack. Yeah, it's a nice pretty good hack, though. Nice it's clever. It's a good idea. Winter's coming. Protect those seals. All right, all right. Um, we all know up, Game of Thrones. Next up, Travis uh, has done this. So, this the, now this is uh, in the bodge factor. Jubilee clip goes. Jubilee clip to straight make, in the bodge bin. Yeah. <laughs> Jubilee know. clips are never pretty. No. But Travis has basically attached the Jubilee clip to make his derailleur work because he didn't have a mount on his uh, seat tube. So it's clever. But it's a bodge. It is. I don't think, I think at the moment Tommy's leading. Uh, wow, you should check this out. It's from Kieran. This is amazing. He's in New Zealand. This is a home built wheel truing stand. It's made from plywood, sheet metal, and various screws and bolts. You can adjust it any hub size with sliding brackets. Wow. It's got a dial gauge. It's got a homemade G clamp made by his father in law back when he was at school. <laughs> He's got a spoke nipple driver made by grinding away the back of a jewelry screwdriver. screwdriver. Yeah, yeah. So that's genius. I love that. Um, let's go everything. He's oh. built a few wheels with it. Hope you like it, he says. I love it. And it, I, I tell you what, I love how it comes in its own little box he's made that turns into like a stool for him to sit on in his workshop. Yeah. He's not using it. It is brilliant. Uh, I've is... got a true stand. They're flipping expensive if you want to yeah. buy one. Yeah, that is 
Very good. That is Very a definite good. hack. Kieran, Kieran, you are doing well there. What about a bit of art? We've got a bit of hacks and budgets. Yeah. Of course, yes. this one comes from Carlos in Portugal. Uh, recently moved in with his girlfriend. Both bike enthusiasts, uh, and they've got that thing to hang their keys on, which is obviously shaped like a bicycle. Yeah. Although I would, I'd love to see the real version of that bicycle. It'd be hilarious. Um, well, Neil, you pick wow. this £100 chain reaction voucher up for grabs. Come on, it's got to go to Kieran. Genius. Kieran, Kieran was next level, wasn't it? Yes, it was man. sort of like the other guys just got smashed out of the park then. And you can spend that £100 yeah. pounds on tools to you know get some more good tools to work on your bike. It's obviously super keen on it. Yeah, congratulations, Kieran. You are our winner. £100 pound voucher for Chain Reaction Cycles coming your way. Um, yeah. Have you got a hack or a bodge? Make sure you can send it in onto our uploader. There's the link just there. And you can put in your bikes for the bike vault there, your viewer edits. Yeah. Uh, anything you want to give us, um, it's all there and you can uh, enter the game and of course try and win that £100 voucher. Let's talk about Blake's balls. Shall we? Shall we talk about Blake's balls? <gasps> Let's do it. Right, it's time for the caption contest. This is last week's photo. Yeah, it's Blake with his balls. <laughs> That's what it is. Just saying what it is. Daryl uh, Bradley says, and this is what my balls look like after riding Dark Crystal on a hardtail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. Um, right, we've got Faux 3 Nicks Matt who says one powerball to rule them all. Yeah. What's yeah, that? A yeah. Lord of the Rings stuff. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. You got a Lord of the Rings tattoo. Yeah. Bundles of joy. He man, have the I have the power balls. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good captain call. Definitely an 80s thing. Uh, yeah, um, and Bo Ridgeland says, if you want them in the form of a burger, just drop them. Do you want them in the form of a burger? What, my ball? <laughs> I don't know. I think that first one was brilliant. Oh, I think right. that was the best one. Daryl Bradley. Daryl Bradley. You win a GMBO ball. ball. It's just over there. It's gone. It's just over there. It's already there. gone your way, Daryl. So. It's, it's, it's flying over your way, but I'll, tell you, I'll just summon it back quickly, just so you prove we've got one. It's here. It's on its way to you now. Wow. Well, well done, Daryl. This is this week's photo. Look at that. What a mess. There's your caption uh, contest photo for this week. Put it down below. See if you can win yourself a GMM bowl. Like this. Well, you got this far in the show. One thing you must do. If you've got this far in the show and you're having a good time, is subscribe to GMB. I've already done it. Yeah, I've done it. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe so you get uh, an alert when we've done all our videos and you get to see them straight away yeah. uh, and enjoy yourself and get inspired to ride mountain biking. So make sure Hopefully. you subscribe to GMBN. Loads of great comments this week on our videos. As always. Uh, Elliot McFarlane says his unsung hero is his best bro, Dylan, because riding wouldn't be the same without him. Absolutely. I love that. I love those Good kind of stories. Cool. Um, what about this one? This is great. From Brian Mansfield. <laughs> my ex-wife is my unsung hero. <laughs> I would have stayed married. Um, I w if I would have stayed married, I wouldn't have got into mountain biking. When I got divorced, I started thinking about what I did before I was married that I really enjoyed, and it was riding bikes. Um, and I've been mountain biking now for 29 years. This bit's great. Life begins when your first marriage ends. Wow. <laughs> uh, wow. Sorry. That is that is a crazy one. Uh, you're brave writing that one, Brian. Thank you very much. Um, on the finale, or my finale video where I raced, Ryan Heath says, one of the few times Neil laughs or smiles while eating breakfast. That was a good joke. I rarely do laugh or smile. That's tr very true. That isn't true. It's a lie. Um, <laughs> on the how far do downhill people travel, Lee Howard yeah. says, G is the cause of global warming. Uh, between the Affa and clan, I bet they've killed a whole polar bear. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Neil, what are you looking forward to this week? Week. Well, I shot a pro bike check with Sam Hill uh, finale. Oh, so on awesome. his custom Day of the Dead inspired painted bike, really cool actually. Yeah, Come out on like Saturday that, that video. Uh, I tell you what, this one's going to be a banger. What I'm looking forward to, Chris and Blake on an enduro trials challenge. Both good trials riders. Yeah, actually. yeah, they can both handle their bikes, but I think Chris is probably going to take it. But I'm looking forward to yeah. finding out. Right. We are in. Brian. I opened early that time. That Brian. Is a Beautiful. Brian's Ryan Bronson. Yeah. Flagstaff, Arizona. Oh, we started out high, haven't we? Brilliant. I love that. Think? What do you think? Good looking bike. Super it's nice. It's got to be in it. Super nice. Bronson in Arizona. Nice. Okay, next up, it's Tommy oh. and his uh, canyon. New Spectral. Look at that. It's got that little sort of tool pouch that tucks underneath the top tube. I love it. Look at that water bottle. What's I that? really love it. This is in, oh, I can't even, this is in Paihayavi <laughs> in Finland. 
Um, Tommy Saarinen's lovely looking bike. It's 14 years old. Tommy Saarinen, he's a big supporter of the channel. Yeah. <laughs> Get a super, super nice, nice. super nice bike. Yeah, I thought it was that name. Cheers, Tommy. Yeah, that is a very nice looking bike. Um, next up, Trek from Andrew. This is Trek Remedy 9. Mary's Peak in Oregon. Yeah, oh, I, I, I really like the photo. I That's really cool. like the photo, actually, but oh, the, no, I do, I do really like it. Yeah, I, I think it's I, great. I, I think the bikes before have clouded me, but that's just plain good, isn't it? Yeah. Super it's, nice. All right, super nice. Super nice. Great bike so far. Richard and his Transition Sentinel carbon build. Look carbon, at that. yeah. Tran I tell you what, we've got some banging bikes this week. That's a beauty, We're isn't not, not going to do a full super nice we round, are we? It's not. I really like that. But Richard's, but it's good, Envy, isn't it? Envy Bars. That's a very cool bike. I'm going to have it's to do it. super nice. <laughs> it is super nice. That's right up my street yeah, now, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to be real. That is good. Here we go. Oh, wow, on. finally, a great bike that's just out of shot. We might get away with doing just a nice here. <laughs> this is Sean's Trek Roscoe 8. Bet, I bet that's a great bike as well. South Australia. It's a love, I love that matte grey. That looks like an adventure bike to me. It's quite long, isn't it, for a yeah. sort of modern hardtail. Yeah. They look like that. Bet that is super fun to ride. But does it, is it good enough to be a super nice bike? Oh, God, I, it sort of is. It is. <laughs> it's on, super man. nice. I love a hardtail. I do love Did a hardtail. Did you pick these bikes this week, Martin? Uh, no, this was, this was uh, Jess this Ooh, week. No, oh, no. We've got a, a live fork on the front of this bike. Yeah, this is. Pretoria. This is Contrand. This is Ben's Contrand Rogue. So actually. B. Coming soon to the channel is my Iceland trip, and wow. I visited the Life headquarters. It's in Reykjavik. Yeah, and yeah. Really impressed. Couldn't believe it. It's sort of uh, one of those forks where it looks so crazy that it just don't know how it's going to work, but it really makes sense for the yeah. right bike. They're yeah. cool things. Well, I mean, if there was ever the right bike, this is the one. Yeah. I mean, this is this is a proper cool hard. Turn. Banana in the bottle cage. I just can't imagine not giving that a super nice. I just can't <laughs> imagine it. It's stupid to not give that a huge super nice. It's right. blooming good. Ooh. Oh, stop it! That looks cool, oh man. my god, this is crazy. Demo 8 carbon. Look at the colour. This is gunners. Is that, I Beautiful. guess the photo is a little bit blown out. The colour's so bright. I don't recognise it. I think that's. It's, it's nice. Is it? It's... <sighs> Martin. That's. Well, mate, if you want to go more, go more. I mean. I've got to go more with that. Oh my god. This is... This is insane. Super nice. This is insane. That's cool. Right? Next up, Joe's. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Martin. Man, I love that. Really? Man, you can't beat a fat bike. Like, you can't beat a fat bike. They're just funny. Look at fat it. Fat bike infatuation has been and gone, to be honest. This makes me smile. All right. God, I mean, look how comfy that is. It's got a Manatee fork on the front. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> Joseph, your, your fat bike is nice, and I thank you for giving us a nice because we were getting. I some, mean, where is some, it? Where is this? This uh, is in Minnesota, Lake, is that? Yeah, Lake oh, Vermilion. Uh, it probably gets cold up there, surely. So it's probably the right bike for that sort of thing. Wait, wait, let's move on before you talk yourself into a super nice. Right, okay, next up is Hamish's Polygon. Where's this? Victoria, this is Australia. Victoria, Australia, yeah. The tyres, they're plus tyres, they look pretty chunky. It's a nice looking bike, that. That's good looking It's bike. nice, nice. We found some normality, but very high quality normality at that. Well, I think that's a bit nice for me. Nice, nice one. Oh, and we're out of the bike vault. Good bike vault. <sighs> that was tense. Cracking I thought nice. we were going to go, do you think we'll ever go right through and it be all super I'm nice? I'm sure we will, because we've got some amazing viewers, some amazing viewers' bikes. Lovely looking Keep bikes. Keep sending them in. Yeah, there was a lot in this week, so you did very well to get Hundreds. into the bike vault. Yeah, so make sure you send yours into the uploader, get involved. Um, I tell you what, I know it feels great when you get a super nice, because mm. my wife gave me one the other day. <laughs> it was a great cake I baked. <laughs> very nice. Insta bangers and shout outs, and I'm gonna start with uh, basically a well deserved shout out. This is to Gwilam Boo. I hope I'm saying his name right, but he's the great CGI artist that created yeah. that penny farthing at the top of the show. You can go and check him out on his uh, website, artstation.com. He's got a space on there. The link is in the description down below. Uh, go and check out his work because he's done some amazing bike concepts. Uh, my shout out this week is to a, a rider down. This is Kirill Benderoni, uh, one of Blake's fans actually, that, a, a Russian free rider, yeah, known for his gnarliness basically. Uh, yeah. Yes, had got an injury, so try and help him out, that'd be great. Okay, this week's Grom of the Week is Francis. Neil, check this out. It's uh, Francis, he's six years old. Ooh. 
Um, he lives Just in tonight. Burley. And this is his, uh, basically his progression from five years old to six years old. Wicked. And you can really see as he tries to start pushing his limits a little bit. That's well cool. Do you know what I really like is that a lot of the things he's riding along are narrow, and that's a really good idea. A little drop off the end there, look. <laughs> cool little bike as well. It's proper man oh, like that, yeah, isn't it? This brakes. You can see he's really progressed. Look at that. Little front bump up that curb. What is it? What's the bike? It is common a style. common sound. They do. Wicked. Cool looking bike. He's doing really great. He's doing, entering local races, progressing on his riding step rides. Look at that. Well, Francis, I think we'll be seeing a lot more from you. Great Grom of the Week. Right, let's look at some post. We've yes. got some post. Now. I know what's in it. I, I love getting post. I absolutely love it. Right, we've got a really cool little note here. I'm going to read it out. You unpack this, Neil. It's, from, it's par avion. Yes. Come in the... On the aeroplane. This is from Mirren and Travis. Um, these guys met Blake over at Crankworks, gave him a pair of their socks, but didn't want us to feel left out. Yes. So these are send it, send and commit socks. Nice. Uh, and there's a pair for Jess and Doddy and for Neil and myself. Um, they're also going to be watching uh, Blake's new kicker ramp video and making a ramp Got soon. So we'd stickers. like to see some evidence of that. Hey, stickers, let's get it on the old uh, get it on the old I box like it. there, Send Neil. Send a commit on the bear or... Bear Send a commit socks. Blue. Great stuff. If you've got any things you want to get into the shed, then please send them in. Right, um, let's do a little bit of a shout out to some really cool stuff coming from the GMBN shop. It's turning into winter here in Tough. the UK. Um, so we've got some of the winter com clothing coming out. We've got our coats, we've got our uh, beanie hats and New socks. socks. We've got some great, I love these. I haven't seen I them yet. Check <laughs> these out. GMBN socks. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, no, I'm having these ones. These are my ones. Just mate. Look at these. Good logos. Look at that. And look at all the stuff we've got in the shop. Nice. Look at that stuff there. Make sure you check it out. It's a great way of supporting the channel. And of course, you look cool on the trails. So there's no losers. Thanks for the support. Yes, absolutely. Uh, right, make sure you subscribe before you leave today. We've had a great show. Yep. Um, we've got some great videos coming out this week, like we said. But the videos we've mentioned this week that you cannot miss if you haven't seen them. What about Neil riding in Finale? Yeah, Look cheers, Mark. Enjoyed doing that. Really and if you want to see the Giathan video, How Far Does Pro Travel? Super interesting. Those are good yes, numbers in there, yes. Martin. Very Click good. over here for that one. Absolutely. There's the old subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.